when I was a lot younger, I was one messy child. After being told over a million times to tidy up my room, I learned a few tips and tricks to keep my closet organized. أول شيء بدكم تعملوه لتقدروا ترتبوا خزانتكم هو إنكم تتخلصوا من الأواعي اللي ما لبستوها لمدة سنة. So the first thing you want to do to organize your closet is to get rid of clothes you have not worn in a year or more. Because girl, if you have not touched those clothes in a year, then you most probably never will. So by that, I mean the ones that are not in good condition, the ones that just don't fit you well anymore, or the ones that are no longer your style. You know what I'm talking about? I'm sure you're already thinking about some pieces. Just take those out, get rid of them, girl. So if they are in okay condition, then you can go ahead and give them to charity. Because if you ain't gonna use them, then you might as well give somebody else the chance to. Right? Mm-hmm. تاني شي بدكم تعملوه هو انكم تستعملوا نفس العلاقات لكل الاواعي so the second tip is to use the same hangers for all of your clothes and to hang your clothes the same way allow me to illustrate as you can see over here we have black plastic hangers and they're all the same same design same design so yep and they're all hung the same way as well in case you have not noticed like they're all hung in this direction you don't have some random ones just coming in the opposite direction and then as for the shirts that I have over here I hung them, I hung them all this way so we have the face of the shirt facing that way and all of them are like that as well so you can do that to your shirts, to your jeans, skirts, to anything and everything. So personally for my jeans, I like to fold them in half, having the zipper pointing towards the closet, and then I have the front pockets shown. So this is how I fold them. And then you need to choose which side of the pocket, which pocket you want to show. Girl, yeah. So. Then, if you are going to go ahead and buy yourself some new hangers to hang all your clothes all over again, let me just give you an additional quick tip to hang many shirts quickly. So, over here we have some shirts and I am going to put each one of them into my arm, girl. So we have, this is the bottom of the shirt. We're going to do this. So we have the top of the shirt over here, the collar. And we're gonna do that for all of them and try and have them all facing the same direction as well. So we have, oopsie, almost fell. And then we're gonna have this one. So the bottom and collar, okay. And then the same thing for the third shirt, bottom and collar, and they're all facing me. And then I have some hangers over here. So we're gonna get this, put it in here. One, we're good. And then we're gonna put it here in this section. We're gonna get this other hanger, do the same thing. So here we go. There. And here. And this. So here. See how easy that was? Girl, you can hang a lot of tops like that. And you will be done in no time. So. This brings me to my next point. As you see, I hung all of them with the orange shirts. So girl, you need to color coordinate your clothes. So, so here, first of all, I started with white and I ended with black. It depends on the colors that you have and the patterns, but just go get creative. So we have them all together. And this is actually so much easier when you wanna match things up. So for example, today I feel like wearing a pink flat or something, okay? so. We have our shoe over here. You just move it and you see, well, it suits this. Oh, I'm gonna wear this. You know what I'm talking about, girl? So it's so much easier to match your clothes when you have them all just separated according to colors. And then you can go as far as to also separate them according to the type of shirt. So for example, I have my long sleeves over here and then the shorter next to it. And then we go all the way to this whoopsie the shortest sleeve so it depends on how many clothes you have like for example how many short sleeve tops you have if you have a lot of short sleeve tops and a lot of long sleeve tops then you can put all of the short sleeves alone and the long sleeves alone and color coordinate both but for me, most of my clothes are just short sleeves, so I put all of them together. Like I put the long ones in there, in the sections, and just keep them all organized. You know what I'm saying? 
Okay, and then with this, we're gonna move on to the shoes. If you don't have enough space to keep your shoes just in the bottom of your closet, then go ahead and buy yourself some mini shelves. I bought mine from IKEA and I actually have two on top of each other and you can make them as high as you want to. And so as you can see, I have my sneakers on top and then underneath you have the flats and there you have the heels. So you could do the same thing. What about the bags, you may wonder? Well, I got that covered for you, sister. Take a look. If you have some space on top of your clothes, if you have a shelf, then girl, go ahead and put your bags over there. Nice and neat, yeah. Does that option not work for you? No problem, there are other ways. Let's go to my other closet. Another way to store your handbags is to get some really cute ribbons and tie hooks in the bottom. Oopsie! And so this is how you can have your bags just chilling in the bottom of your closet, just like this. You know, and I got these hooks from IKEA as well, so you can really find anything there. It's cool. And then another thing you can do is get shelves like these and put your handbags and you can also use them for your clothes. So you can have pajamas, gym clothes and even stuff that you need for the beach or the pool like your swimming suit, your beach bag and all that stuff. Just put it on a put them on a separate shelf, you know, to stay nice and organized. And it's also so easy for you to take them out and to put them back in. Now, also to make more space in your closet, you can divide your clothes or separate them according to season. So let's say it's summertime and you do not need your wool jackets and sweaters and all of that stuff. So just pack them and put them on that, just that high shelf. We all have a shelf in our closets that we don't really need or we don't use because it's, like, it's, too, it's too high. So you can put your clothes over there just nice and neatly, the ones that you're not gonna be needing for the next couple of months. Same thing when it is in the winter and you're not gonna be needing your short sleeves anymore. So go ahead and put them over there and take down your jackets. So this way you can easily find the clothes that you're looking for and you won't have to basically, like you're gonna forget about the clothes if you don't see them. You know what I'm saying? So you wanna keep all of the clothes that you need for that season right in front of you. Okay, now another thing you can do is get some boxes that just look the same, black boxes, mine are from Ikea also, and so you can put some stuff in there that you barely use. Like for example, I have my old hair extensions in there, memory boxes, um, re report cards, just stuff that I don't really need, unless I suddenly need it just once out of the blue. So then I could just easily take it out of the box and keep all of these boxes next to each other in the top of your closet like that. Now that you know these tips, you are sure to have an organized closet. I hope you found this episode useful and thank you for watching. Do not forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook so we can gossip together and hit the subscribe button for more videos. See you next time. Bye. Did you know that large plates make the portion of food in them appear smaller than it really is and also small plates make the quantity of food, which is actually the same quantity, appear larger than it is. Which I now know that there are seven common lying gestures. <laughs> so the first one is the mouth cover. That can be done either by just covering the mouth with several fingers, two fingers, whatever, or an entire fist.